Jazeera. Yes? Who are you? So, you don't know me. Everybody knows me. The devil. No, not the devil. Simply his messenger, Belial. I'm just a poor widow. Leave me in peace. You don't understand. <sighs> it's time for me to have a son. A son who will rule the world, who will sit on the throne of fire. I beg you, I can't do this. Not me. Don't force... You have no choice. No one can refuse me. No one can refuse me. Listen to me. You will bear the child of evil. You will be my servant as long as you live. You will raise my son. You will love him. You will follow him, and you will bring him to the fulfillment of his mission. Now you are mine.
What a violent storm. Yes. I feel this is a day of violence. What makes you say that? Because I know that evil has entered the world today, Myra. A son was born to the devil in this hour. But don't be afraid. Because evil is always opposed by good. Evil will try to become king. It will even try to sit on the throne of fire, usurping Aegon, who reigns with wisdom and goodness. But no usurper can sit on that throne without being betrayed by it. It is written that evil must sit on the throne of fire by a certain hour, or it will be destroyed. The day of the night in the day, Mara. And who is there to combat this evil? A warrior. Our son Siegfried. Son of Belial, who gave you breath, you shall be king of the world. You shall sit on the throne of fire. I'm ready now. My son, your father gave me the honor of giving birth to you. His will is that you possess the throne of fire. I will sit on the throne of fire, mother. But now on that throne, there is King Aegon. He must be overthrown. You must kill him, my son. I will do it, mother. Be careful, though. No one may sit on the throne of fire if he does not have the complete right. By that, I mean... You must kill King Aegon. Then you must marry Princess Belcarin. I will do it, Mother. You may be sure she will oppose you. Nobody can oppose me. And if she hides? If she hides, I will find her. If you wish to find her, you will have to kill. I will do it. Destroy. I will do it. Massacre women, babies. I will kill women and children.
son, my son, come to me, my son, come here, I'm dying. Mother, I heard your voice. Yes, my son. I called you. My hour has come. Don't leave me. I need you. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. When our hour sounds, we're all helpless, son. But before that happens, I want to reveal the last prophecy. Remember this. You have to sit on the throne. On the day of the night of the day, no later than sundown. The day of the night of the day. What kind of prophecy is that, Mother? You must let me finish. Otherwise, at night... Otherwise? Otherwise? What? Tell me what will happen. Mother! Mother! Search everywhere! Where is she? Who are you looking for, Lord? You know who I mean, you miserable peasant. Where is the Princess Belkarin? We don't know, noble sir. Listen to me. You tell me in ten seconds where I can find the Princess Belkarin. Or all the women in this village, the old men and the children too, are dead and all your houses destroyed. We don't know, noble sir. We don't. Have mercy on us. Kill the first woman who spoke. Run her through. Stop. I'm right here, Taro. Capture her. I want her alive. Uh, Hurry! She mustn't reach the woods. Capture her! Oh, no! Let me go! Let me go! Tell me, what happened here? Morik's warriors attacked us. They were looking for the princess. Princess Belkarin? The daughter of King Aegon? Yes, but Aegon is dead, killed by Morak. The princess hid in the cavern of the winds. She came to us today to tell us to run away, but Morak's men came and took her prisoner. You're not in the service of evil, warrior. You can help us, please. Taros is here with the prisoners. Send him through.
Take the horses to the stables. Double the guards at all the gates. Hurry. Morak is impatient to meet you. Hail, Morak. Here is the prisoner. Congratulations, Captain. Looks like you had some good hunting. You filthy murdering coward. <laughs> Stop, Taros. No one must touch my future bride. Bride? You murdered my whole family. Murder me, too. Move. My marriage to the princess will close the question once and for all. And what if the princess refuses this marriage? Do you know of anyone who has ever refused me anything? <laughs> <laughs> You're not laughing. No, Morak. I'm not laughing because I fail to see the necessity of this marriage of yours. King Aegon is gone. The present king is you. Take your rightful place there on that throne now. Follow me. The Throne of Fire, forged personally by Odin, given by the god to Erland the Viking, who left it to his son, Anak the Conqueror, who left it to his son, Bran the Navigator, and so on and so forth, down to Aegon the Wise. Now that Aegon is dead, it has been passed down to his daughter. And only if I marry her will I have the right to sit on that throne. You are the new king. Take possession of the throne, my lord, marriage or no marriage. It is written, fool. Only legitimate heirs have the right to sit on the throne. It's ridiculous, Morak. Nonsense. I'm afraid you're saying that the brave Morak is trembling at a legend. All right. You sit on the throne, Izar. I, my lord. You. That's an order. I obey at once, my lord. For a brief moment, I shall be king. You understand why I absolutely must marry the princess now? Bring them in, Captain. Great Morak, the princess begs clemency for her subjects. Ah, so you're willing to bargain after all. We'll have the wedding ceremony as soon as possible. There'll be no marriage. I'd prefer to die, Morak. My dear, there are worse things than death. Take her away. I'll have two men guard her day and night, my lord. All right. Bring me my bow. Well, my friends, 
The princess has requested your freedom. I can refuse her nothing. Just go through that door, and you will find your freedom. You first. Go. You. Stop. Where are you going? I have come to officiate at the wedding of Morak and the princess. Wedding? Is something the matter, my son? I haven't heard about any wedding. My son, if Morak finds out that you are the cause of my delay, may the Lord have mercy on your soul. Mm. All right, Father. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let the friar through. I'll take your horse, Father. Now you try. No. Halt! Where are you going, Father? I've come for the wedding ceremony of Morak and the Princess. Another friar is here already. That's strange. I have Morak's message to appear. So? No volunteers? I'll just choose again. Stop that friar! Get him back here! Take him away. Get him. No, wait. Let's see how he does with the executioners. That's enough. Now it's my turn.
<laughs> Don't let him escape! in amusing me. You are strong, stranger. Will you enter my service? <coughs> Kill him, Orak. No. That is too sweet for him. Throw him into the well of madness. No one yet has ever come out of the well of madness alive. Let's see if you're brave enough to face it. Look at me. Look at me. You will be like me soon. Look at me. <laughs>
Come, warrior, come. Come die with us. You've won, warrior. Go, take the axe and look for the light. Siegfried. I can't believe it. I thought you were dead. Death is my constant companion in here. I'll free you, father. I swear to the gods. But why are you here? Morak is holding me prisoner. He knows I know the prophecy about him. Evil may sit on the throne of fire only on the day... By sundown, on the day of the night in the day. One minute later and it will perish. Morak wants to know the meaning of this prophecy. Morak wants the throne. To get it, he must marry the princess. Don't forget, I know. I was there, I saw it. I was their guest, because after your mother died, the king and queen would often try to soothe my pain by inviting me to court, where I would entertain them with magic tricks. I foresaw the danger that was coming. But the king had faith in his people. He said they would never kneel down to evil. It seemed just like any other evening. Only Taros knew.
Only the princess was able to get away, and she hid in the cavern of the winds. They started searching for her, and they wiped out all the villages nearby. Everyone in the castle was dead. One got away, wounded in the fight, though. That very morning he got to his feet, the very morning of the battle. He came to me and told me the story, so I thought you were murdered, too. I will be left alive until Morak marries the princess. Morak's mother, the witch Azira, revealed part of the prophecy of the throne of fire, but died before she could explain the meaning. Now he must marry the princess. They've captured her father, and now she's Morak's prisoner. I must free her. It will be difficult to get out of here. But it will be harder still to find out where the princess is held, rescue her, and get away. Listen to me, my son. I can make you invisible and invulnerable, but only, only once, and the time is limited. You will be invisible while the sands run in the glass. You will be invulnerable to anything except fire. But the spell could confer on you the same power. Your liberty, son, is more precious than my own. Not many things can be done while the sands run through the glass, but those things you can do while I can't. Lord of the light, paint black the light of this man. Hear me. Let it last for the time it takes the sands to go through the glass. None shall see you. And unless you touch fire, you will be invulnerable. Go, free the princess, go now. I'll come back to free you too, Father. Open the door. It must have been the wind. What happened? I'm tired of this. Would you like it? I certainly would. Let me try it on. Of course. Here. Good morning, Princess. Where are you? We'll let you in. I am Siegfried, son of Antar. Your father, King Aegon, sent for me to protect you. My father? Yes. I'll do everything I can for you. Oh, then welcome, protector. <clears throat> Is that how you welcome your friends? You're not here to offer any protection. You're just a spy for Morak. Oh, a spy of Morak's. Outside this door, there are at least ten armed men. Nobody could hope to get by. But you did somehow. And that can only mean that you're here with Morak's knowledge. I'm not a fool. Princess, believe me. I how can I believe you? Just the fact that you can become invisible makes me think that that monster has put a spell on you. Well, then, am I accused of treachery? Yes. You ought to kill me. If I'm a traitor, it's your duty to kill me. Here, take this. My life is in your hands. That will do. And now, since you say you're here to save me, go ahead and do it, if you're able. What are your plans? We'll leave that way. Oh, really? And what about the archers? You'll have to hide behind me. And who'll protect you? I'm invulnerable. 
Invulnerable to everything. Only if I'm hit by fire do I lose my invulnerability. But no one knows that. <laughs> Princess, you know that Morak has ordered you to stay in your rooms. I command you to let me pass. Very well, Princess. No, I obey only Morak's orders, not yours. I'll tell you once more. I order you to let me pass now. No, Princess. Then you're dead. I don't know how you got out of the well of madness, but this time there'll be no escape. Give him to me, Morak. No. Let her decide for him. I told you there were things worse than death. Take him away. However brave the children of the legitimate king may be, they always have a weak point. Pity. And I'm sure that's your weak point, too. No, there isn't any pity in my heart at this moment. Only hatred for Morak. Time will tell. <laughs> that's foolish. You're a fool of the worst sort. But when the fire of the torch reaches the cord, it'll be too late for your hero. But you can put it out if you decide to marry me. Then kill him right away, now, Morak. Only first kill me, because I'll never give in to your blackmail. Did you hear that? The young lady just ordered your death. Please forgive me, whoever you are. But my marriage to this monster could only bring a terrible curse on humanity. Well, enjoy the last evening of your life. You have to sit on the throne of fire. The day of the night and the day. No later than sunset. The prophecy. You know the prophecy. I know it, Morak. And I'm willing to explain it. In exchange for the princess's liberty. <laughs> Thank you. Look. There. This way, your princess will have less time to decide. Bring her. Uh. 
I doubt very much whether the crossbow will allow the stranger to see tomorrow's dawn. But if you become my wife, he'll live, and you will reign at my side. If you continue to oppose me, you will be killed, and all your people along with you. No. I know my people. They'd much rather be killed in combat and not be forced to live in slavery under you. As you wish. Now return to your quarters. Tomorrow at dawn, you'll be brought back here. If you've changed your mind, you'll become queen at my side. Otherwise, it'll be the end for you. And this time, there'll be no stupid serving girls in the hall. Daros, put your best men in front of her door. Morak, the stranger is the only one who knows the prophecy. Once he's dead, there won't be anyone who can explain it to you. You're forgetting our prisoner, the old man. He knows. And the torches that I intend to put him to will loosen his tongue. O oh gods, masters of the earth and the sky and the water, owners of life on earth, I implore you, take back all of my forces. Hear me, gods. I give you back my life. My son, be healed. Fight against evil, my son. Father, you mustn't go. Please stay. You mustn't leave me alone. I'll avenge you. You know you can believe it. Wherever you are. What happened? What was that noise, Princess? I got nervous. Does it seem strange for a young woman to get nervous when she's all alone at night in a strange place? I think you'd understand that. You're young, too, and alone tonight. It's not nice, is it? Princess, please, you, you don't... You can't be scared. Of course not. Oh, fine. A real warrior takes a woman when he wants her.
Who are you? That doesn't matter. Take the helmet and the cape. I've already freed the princess. She's waiting for you at her hiding place. Now go. Hurry. Thank you, whoever you are. Don't waste time. I owe you my life. Done, Morak. Now he'll lead us to Princess Belkarin. Follow him, but at a safe distance. You betrayed me. I know it. You're on Morak's side. You betrayed my trust. That's not true, Princess. I escaped. No one escapes from Morak without his help. Princess, please. I'll kill you. Listen to me. Princess. If I had really betrayed you, at this point I would kill you. Stop. I'll commit suicide. So Morak will kill you on sight. Take the sword. Tell me how you escaped from there. Tell me about you. A girl has weapons that no man has. What are these weapons? Here's our plan, Siegfried. I want to go north to King Eyerdahl's lands. He's my third cousin. He can give me an army of 3,000 that I will lead against Morak. Eyerdahl's lands are far from here. The trip will be long. You will be my escort. 
But only my escort, do you understand? I'm at your orders. There's escort only. But Morak, I want to kill him, Princess. No one but me can ever do that. So you're making conditions on your service? Yes. If you get in my way, I will forget that you're a woman. Come closer. Here. Well, Princess, this is our wedding day. <clears throat> Don't you understand that no one can oppose me? No one. Come. I, um, I want you to see what I've prepared for your hero. Everything's ready, Lord. Did you think I would pardon him? But he must die anyway. And this time he won't be able to defend himself. Call that monk. Have him prepare to celebrate our marriage. At once, Lord. You know perfectly well I'll never marry you.
Now you will marry me and become my royal queen. Yes, Lord, I shall marry you, and I shall reign at your side. That's enough. Finish her off. And the Lord commanded them that they be fruitful and multiply until they outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. that a woman serve her man. She must give him love, obedience, and fidelity. A man is a master in all things. However, he has his duties to her as well. Yes. He must treat her with kindness. Hurry. Give her food and shelter and protect her under all circumstances. <coughs> <coughs> Princess Belkarin, daughter of Queen Ingrid, alas, no longer here among us, and the lamented King Aegon, will you take as your legitimate husband... Ah, uh, no, excuse me, I was supposed to ask that first of his lordship. <coughs> <coughs> Lord Morak. Day the night and the day. Hurry up, Father. Hurry up or I'll kill you. In the presence of the Lord, there is no place for violence. My Lord Morak, son of Azira of Bregenhall. Faster. My Lord Morak, son of Azira of Bregenhall. Faster, please, Father. Oh! <laughs> 
And of course, hold her in honor, recognizing her as the very ideal of Faster. womanhood. So I hereby declare you... Wanted the throne, then take it. Don't be afraid, Princess. The sun will be here soon again. and your strength merit a great reward. What do you claim? Princess, uh, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You told me I was your escort only. And so you were. Your reward shall be a title. Come nearer. Neil. For services rendered to our crown, I declare you knight of no, Baron is better, I think. Your Majesty, it behooves us to hear the will of the people. So I shall. Let us hear the populace. Beloved subjects, I owe this man a great deal, and I wish to reward him. What 
would you suggest? King! He is our king! Long live the king! If he's to become king, Your Majesty, he'll have to marry you. I believe I did tell you you were my escort only. But the will of the people must be respected. What about your will? <laughs> 